Hi there. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing uh, a prop that I'm uh, built for uh, our local uh, Esparto High School uh, rendition of Beauty and the Beast. And this is my uh, rendition of Maurice's machine, which is the machine that uh, Bell's dad, uh, Maurice, builds for the county fair. Um, the drama teacher out here um, asked me to take an old industrial sander, which was basically a motor and a gear and a belt sander wheel inside of a giant plywood box and turn it into a wood chopping machine that looks like it could have existed in uh, provin provincial France. So um, first thing I did was I took the giant you know 75 pound motor out of the thing. Uh, they didn't want it to run on electricity they wanted it to be a hand cranked thing so uh, it had this giant motor in it, uh, very loud spun very fast, probably too fast for what we had to do, so I took the motor out, first of all, and uh, basically everything is utilizing this drum. So there's a hand crank on this side that spins an aluminum rod, which spins this belt uh, sander drum, which spins a wheel, which spins an axe, which causes it to chop. I'll demonstrate it. It's a very simple hand crank device. There's another gear pulley here attached to the same uh, wheel that spins this, that also spins this, that makes this drum, this homemade uh, barrel uh, thing go up and down, so I'll show you. Alright, here we go. Simple hand crank device, you can spin it slow, you can spin it fast, and you can see the axe chops. So the two functioning uh, wheels are this one and this one, everything else is just stuff I've added to look like it does something. I created a little lever here. It doesn't really do anything. It's just on some springs and elastic on a rod and you can just pull it back. It's just kind of for show. Uh, I created the stove here out of uh, two plastic barrels that I got at the dollar store. I just inverted them, uh, put the, the white ends together and uh, strapped it with some plumber's flashing, electrical flashing or whatever you call it. Spray painted black to look like wrought iron. I made a little catch out of the same stuff and you know, some little hinges here it opens and closes it doesn't have to function you could put some lights in here if you wanted to to make it look like there was a fire going uh, the stove pipe is just black PVC with a flared uh, end on it with some electrical tape around there this is an old teapot bucket to look like a smokestack with a teapot this is that wire uh, that little uh, uh, rubberized uh, wiring that you get from uh, from the garden department to wrap around your plants to hold them up but it looked like tubing and if you wrap it around a, uh, a rod it does a nice curl action so I stuck an old door stop out of there and curled that around into an orange juice can spray painted silver held shut with a hose clamp these are old curtain antique uh, has something to do with curtains but it looked like a really cool brass fitting so I use that to hold the two. There's an old gauge. Lots of thrift store leather belts with screws to look like a little thing that holds it in. And then just a lot of wooden circles painted in different bright colors. Um, and uh, some rope down here at the bottom to look like it spins the wheels. These are just the, the wooden circles from old cable spools. And uh, it's an old cheap lantern from the 1970s. It looks kind of French provincial. The axe is just made of a wooden, um, a wooden uh, dowel with. Uh, I'll show you the other side. A wooden dowel, and I took an old plastic cutting board, a thin plastic cutting board, and, and cut out an axe shape, and uh, used the some spray paint to spray paint that silver. Here's the B side. Um, I, this side's the functional side. It just has the hand crank. It needed some more stuff on this side just to look like it does something. Um, so I just added a couple of... Uh, this is a pulley with a couple of little wheels and there's a little circle. This doesn't do anything. It just sits there, but it looks like it does something. I made. I took a couple of ceiling hooks that look kind of old-fangled and uh, I made a mallet really quick just out of some extra wood doweling that I had just to look like one of Maurice's tools. It's just a wooden mallet that I made in about 10 minutes. This is an old antique wooden hammer. I don't know where I got it, but I've never used it, so I figured, what the hell, I'll donate it for the show. I just drilled a hole in the handle and attached a leather strap, and I just hung that. So he's got a couple of hammers there. 
This is the, I had a ship's wheel mechanism on here that I was using. I had a little wooden ship's wheel, which I thought would look really cool. It did, it just didn't work. Uh, so I went back to the drawing board and just made a handle from scraps that's much stronger and easier to crank than that ship's wheel was. And then this thing's just one of those corrugated accordion uh, peg hook things that you get wherever you get them, thrift store. Um, and then this is just a little wood shelf. I just kind of put some stuff there to make it look a little bit more interesting. It just didn't quite have enough aesthetically. I just carved these out of a 2x4 and uh, bolstered them to the box and then just some some uh, corner accents that I got at Michael's Crafts that you would use for woodworking just to give it a little bit of interest and I just attached a shelf on the back with an old coffee can in case you want to stick some tools or something back there and that's essentially Maurice's machine. Um, I'll show you a little bit closer of a view. To give you a better idea, so this is the crank that I made, and I glued some stuff on there. There's the wheels, and you can see it's just one of those pig hook things, and I just screwed it to the side. There's the tools, and then there's just some pulleys painted really pretty with some nice bright paint. This is an old, uh, I don't know, lawn and garden thing. I think it's for edging grass, and I just used that and uh, screwed it to the thing there. And there's my handles with my paint. There's the stove. Stove pipe. I was trying to figure out a way to make smoke come out the top, but that's a little complicated for for this production. So and there's the axe chopper, and I just attached a rope here to kind of look like it stretches when you spin it, and just to kind of stretch out, it looks like it kind of does something. It doesn't really do anything, but it kind of gives it some interest visually. So just lots of little accents, little wooden knobs. Um, a lantern that I got at my grandmother's house that she's had for forever that didn't, she didn't want anymore. This is an oatmeal can, and I just uh, glued, I just actually stapled some um, foam, some brown foam from the craft store, and just sharpied black delineation lines to look like the staves. Um, and uh, this is an old automotive belt that I snipped, and uh, I. I drilled holes along here and fastened just brass brads like you would get at the office supply store. This is the dryer the dryer tubing <laughs> and I just spray painted it red and just made a little barrel top out of a wooden round and a dowel and drilled a hole in it and then attached it to that thing drew a spiral on there. Um, this is just a little crate that I got at Michael's for six bucks that I screwed to the side to kind of hide the, the the lever to look like a lever box and this doesn't actually do anything behind here is just the uh, the gear uh, mechanism but I thought it looked kind of neat to have a wooden reel rather than looking at a metal gear this is just on here to hide the elastic from the gear it doesn't actually do anything and uh, there's the front view of the stove there's the belt sander I painted a spiral on it and there's the stove with the teapot on top just like in the movie Here's the little catch that I made out of that plumber's flashing, and then there's just nothing in here. It's just empty, but you could you could put some of those. Or you could put a light in there or something. And there's the uh, orange juice can with the gauge glued into it, going all the way up. So the theory is the the fire burns, goes up the chimney, heats up the teapot, steam comes down here into some kind of an interchange. The gauge measures pressure, whatever. You know, it looks like it does something. Then it spirals back here into this little thing, and then, in theory, would spin this wheel and chop the axe. That's that's how it would work in Beauty and the Beast world. But uh, in real life here, it runs on a hand crank. Anyway, that's uh, Maurice's machine. If you're building a prop for Beauty and the Beast and you get the pleasure of building Maurice's machine, maybe you'll get some ideas. I actually got this idea from another YouTube channel. I saw one where... Uh, there was a ride-on machine that had this wheel spinning action that spun the axe, and I thought that was a really cool way to do it. It seemed to work for my applications, and so I kind of kind of borrowed that idea from them, and I think it works. Anyway, uh, have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.